Hi, digital art students. This is video is for Digital Art 2. Um, this week I asked you to go and read one of the short stories that I posted up in your out of school work folder. Um, so I wanted to show a visual of exactly what I'm asking you to do. So I went ahead and did one of these. So on the story, so what I asked you to do, I wanted you to go in and same thing we had done with the last illustration. We're gonna go in and we're gonna read the story. We're gonna pull out some details and we're gonna do some sketches of characters and we're gonna do uh, some thumbnail sketches of rotations of taking that scene and turning it around to tell which the best, what is the best viewpoint to tell the entire story. Um, so. I went in and I'm using the story of Archeon the Ever Chosen. Um, that's the one I chose here um, because I know that student and uh, uh, it was a nice uh, descriptive description. But all of them have a potential to uh, uh, have really colorful illustrations pulled out of them. So like whatever one stings to you, go ahead and use that one. Okay, so first thing I did, I just grabbed a piece of paper. Grab a piece of paper. I don't care what kind of piece of paper you have. If you don't have uh, any kind of white drawing paper, um, the inside of a cereal box or something like that will work just fine. If you have a piece of cardboard, you can draw on a piece of cardboard. Um, don't let materials limit you. Just draw on whatever you have, okay? I've got some, this is just some cardstock here, is what I'm using here. So I went in and I wrote some things down. So this actual paper that I'm showing you is what I want you to take a photograph of that you're going to turn in on Friday, okay? So I've got Archeon the Ever Chosen here. I wrote some things down. I basically have two characters in this short story. There is Archeon the Ever Chosen who is a king warlord type character and then I've got Village the Cursling uh, who is a wretched horrid abomination of a mage, quote unquote, from the story, okay? So I write down anything that I can see about here, okay? So I wrote down that, you know, from the story, Archeon is heavily armored, he's a warlord, um, he sits on a huge iron throne. On that iron throne, there is the Star of Chaos. I'm not sure what that is, but on it is his father's severed face. So it's very descriptive. And it sits upon a big pile of skulls, okay? So I jot all those things down so I can uh, refer to them. Um, he defeated uh, an orc warlord recently, and it says um, Archeon wears the crown of domination. Um, and over here, Village the Cursling, I wrote down that it doesn't give a whole lot of description for him, but uh, it said he's a uh, wretched, horrid abomination of a mage. And it later says in the story he is a Titian cultist. So I've got like this kind of... Uh, in my mind is this kind of like twisted character. Um, it's like some kind of magician kind of guy, okay? And then we also, in the story, we have the Eye of Shirian or Shearhand, Ed Shearhand. It's the Eye of Ed Shearhand they're uh, fighting over, um, which is described as a small red crystal that has like a flame inside of it, okay? So those are the elements that I have in my story, okay? I've got the king character, I've got the mage character, I've got this eye of Shirin, this crystal, and then I've got the throne. So I've got those things to work with, okay? So I kind of jot those down. So if you look right here, you know, I just represented my king, you know, I just think this big, you know, I also jotted down like in the, it's basically the story is the interaction between these two where the shifty mage is, has tricked the king into his viewpoint somehow. We don't know the whole story, it's just a short story. So I put down that he is conniving. So I've got, this is my mage character right here. And he's like this little kind of S-shaped little guy here. My throne is on a pile of skulls. I've got a little happy face up there where the face of his dad is on the star, uh, what is it called? The, on the star of chaos up there. Um, that's how I imagine it. And then my king character, I kind of represent as like this big rectangle character here, okay? So I just work with those. That's my character. So, and I put the, King is kind of overbearing. He's like this very, you know, loud and boisterous, angry, short tempered guy. Uh, this shifty, snaky character is my mage. My throne is like this big, you know, grotesque pile of skulls here. So that's kind of the atmosphere that I'm building. So then I go in and I start drawing my image here. So I start out and what I'm going to ask you is to do six rotations here. So you're going to do six little boxes here and do quick six little thumbnails first one here i go just straight forward okay that's where you're going to start what do i need i need 
my mage i need the king he's on this pile of skulls and i just kind of imagine it like this this is the scene i know i kind of want to go with this interaction between them where he's kind of on his throne he's looking down and he's like Arr! and screaming at the mage and the mage has got the little crystal there the eye of ed Sheerhand in his hand okay so then after i go straight forward then i take it and i twist that scene a little bit so i twist in going a little bit closer here and on this one here i've twisted just behind the shoulder of my mage character kind of looking over that way and then over here i twist it a little bit more where i'm kind of looking right over the shoulder look kind of looking up i'm thinking that the pile of skulls it says the throne sits on a mountain of skulls so it's obviously higher um, so i go in there and i start to like that area right there i like that and then down here i was like what if i just kind of go from a lower viewpoint like down towards like the knees of the mage looking up at my uh king up on his pile of skulls from the throne i kind of like that one there i don't show as much of the throne uh, but as long as he's on the pile of skulls, I think I can get away with that. I like it right here. I zoom out a little bit more to try and show the uh, throne a little bit more and kind of back away a little bit. I think I'm a little far away from the king in that one. And then I kind of went and went completely over top. What if I went way high and went over here? So those are my viewpoints. Those are my rotations. So that's what we're going to do. So after I go and I decide this one right here is probably going to be my best viewpoint to tell the story. I've got the king on the pile of stones. I can show a good view of him, kind of overbearing, looking down at the mage character. I'm not seeing the mage character's face, but he's holding up the crystal, um, and I can kind of show his, like, deformity and twistedness, like, from that point of view. So once I decide that's the best way to tell the story and the best viewpoint, then I'm going to go down here. I'm going to draw a more detailed drawing here, okay? So that is the things I want from you this week. Okay, on Friday, that is the steps you should have. You should have notes jotted down about your story, about your characters, about the environment. Maybe a quick little sketch here of the characters. And I want six rotations drawn out and then a more finished drawing of what you are doing once you decide the best way to tell the story. Okay. Also on the back here, I started to map out my characters. Again, I represented the king as kind of like this big blocky rectangle guy. I'm kind of thinking like the character from uh, Brave, if you've seen that, like the father from Brave or the father from How to Train a Dragon, like this big square uh, warlord kind of guy. And my character for the... Uh, mage character I'm, i just keep thinking oh he's twisted and chronos so i'm like starting with a like literally like with a, a little s kind of shape that i want to work him into okay so that's what we're doing this week that's where we're going to pick up with after spring break but by friday i need you to have this in Let's say snap a picture on your phone is probably the easiest way to do if you just snap a picture and then upload it to schoology if anybody needs any help with that uh, you can send me a message um, it's fairly simple. You can send multiple pictures. If you do this on multiple pieces of paper, you can upload more than one. Uh, my photo students do it in digital photography all the time, and it's pretty easy uh, and straightforward. But if you have any problems, just send me a question. Uh, hopefully you guys are staying busy and active. Go outside and enjoy this early spring weather uh, and stay creative.